Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at the simulate and preview commands within 1CNC. Now, simulate and preview allow you to verify your toolpath. Simulate will show you the tool and the stock, and it will also show you the tool removing stock, whereas preview is just going to show you the actual tool moving. So let me demonstrate. Let's head over here to the NC Manager. You can see we already have three machining operations here. Now if I want to simulate all three of these, I just go up to the toolpath group, I right hand mouse click and select simulate. Now from there we get a dialog box and up here at the top, this is where we define the actual size of the stock, the size and the shape. Now if we use extents, extents is always going to create a rectangular piece of stock. And there's different ways to determine how big that stock is going to be. You could type in the coordinates down here, these are opposing diagonal coordinates for your stock and you can also type in uh, the top of the stock and the bottom of the stock or you can use automatic offset so if I use automatic offset and let's say I type in 200 thousandths when CNC is going to look at the tool path it's going to look at the diameters of the tool and our stock is going to be approximately 200 thousandths larger than all of that you still have the ability to come in here and change these values as well just by unchecking automatic you can see that point two is still in there these values are still here and we could type in something different like maybe minus one for the bottom of the stock so it's very versatile let's go ahead and check this out we'll click OK and there's our rectangular piece of stock so here's our tool moving as the simulation takes place you can rotate you can zoom in and zoom out there's also an um, orbit view which automatically rotates the part as you're zooming in and zoom out and of course you can disable that Notice how the tools use different colors. You can set these up as well over here on the right. Uh, the, tool, the tool colors are also displayed down here within the timeline. You can see there's different colors here. This can be slowed down or it can be sped up just by picking different values there. All right, so there is a good example of simulate. Let's take another look at simulate using a different method for creating stock. I'm just going to head over here to the line tool and I'm quickly going to sketch a rectangle. That looks good. Let's make this a little bit more interesting. Let's put a fillet in the lower right hand corner. Half of an inch is fine, so we'll put it there. That looks good. So there's our stock. Now if we want to, we can go back over here to the toolpath group. We're going to right hand mouse click on this. We'll select simulate again. But this time instead of extents, we're going to use pick boundary. We'll click OK. Oh, by the way, you still have the ability to determine the thickness of the stock. There's your Z top and Z bottom. We're going to click OK, and then we simply just digitize that shape we created, and there you go. There you, you, there's the new stock that's being used. Another option when you use simulate is the as stock command, which is right here, the stock model. What this means is that if you create a solid model, you can use that solid model as stock as well. This option is available within the Mill Professional and Mill Expert system. Okay, so let's take a look now at preview and how that's different. I'm going to undo that stock I created. I'm going to go back over here to the right hand side of the screen. We're going to right click just like we did before, but instead of selecting simulate, we're going to select preview. So what preview is going to do is it's just going to show us the tool moving. All right now, again, you can speed this up or slow it down. Here's your VCR controls down here. I'm going to rewind that. You can rotate, zoom in and zoom out, and you also have the orbit view as well that automatically rotates we'll turn that off okay so there's what preview does now one interesting thing about preview is that it will also display solid models and surfaces so right now you can see we just have wireframe geometry so if I head into preview you can't see this but if I were for example to extrude that let's grab that shape in that one and let's drag that down minus one inch if I were to extrude that and head back over here and go back into preview you'll see the actual solid model now the neat thing about that is you can make tooling uh, you can import tooling if you don't have the ability to create surfaces so for example if you have mill express or mill advantage you can import solid models for tooling like vices and things like that and you can also see them let me demonstrate that I've got the vice created here on this fixture layer and I also have a stop so if we go into preview now we'll right click select preview toolpaths you'll see all of that so preview is a really powerful and versatile command as well alright thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video